Hi everyone, John Davenport here from philgrobbly.com with another Let's Edit video. Uh, since it's the start of spring here in the Northern Hemisphere, I thought we'd look at uh, some flowers today. Um, you know, flowers are going to start popping up all over the place and I know a lot of people really like to photograph them. So I thought I'd show you a little bit about how I'd go about processing this one. Now I'm going to do two different edits. One of them is going to be more normal. The other one's going to be a little bit out in left field, a little bit more on the artistic side of editing, uh, but we'll see which one you like in the end. Um, so the first thing that I did, I actually went ahead and I cropped this down. You can see this is the crop I'm going to use. And then I went ahead and I um, removed this flower down in the bottom right hand corner just to save some time. Um, I wanted to kind of speed through that process, but basically, you know, it's just a crop and then using the clone tool to get rid of a distracting element. Um, everything else will do live here for you to um, see what I'm doing. Uh, so the first edit that I'm going to do is something that's, you know, a little bit more normal, a little bit uh, less on the conservative or, or less on the uh, artistic side of editing. So first, there's a little dot down here that I'm just going to get rid of really quickly. Um, I'm actually going to move this over just a bit and I'm going to probably use the heel tool just so that it blends in a little bit better. Okay, and now what we're going to do is drop the exposure just a little bit. I think, um, you know, it's not that it's poorly exposed, but I, I think the overall image could um, benefit from being just a little bit darker. So, you know, I just went down 0.2. And I'm going to add a little bit of contrast, which will darken it up just a little bit more as well and make the, you know, just a little bit more punch to it. But you have to be careful. You don't want to go too far with contrast because things start to get a little bit um, overdone, I feel like, especially with flowers. Uh, so then I'm just going to remove just a little bit of highlight detail and add in a little bit of the shadow detail here. Um, I'm not going to touch the whites or the blacks. I'm going to actually come down to the presence tab now and I'm going to do a little bit of clarity. I'm actually going to remove a little bit, maybe about minus 30 or so. Um, one of the things that I've seen a lot in flowers uh, processed is, um, you know, these kind of really overdone, um, really high clarity flowers. Uh, I really don't like it. I, I think it looks overdone. I actually prefer to keep my flowers on kind of a softer side. I think, you know, flowers are kind of delicate, um, so softer suits them a little bit better. So I usually will reduce the clarity a little bit. Uh, I'm gonna go minus 30 for this one. And I'm gonna add a little bit of vibrance here just to make this flower kind of pop. And now I'm gonna come down to my HSL tab here. And I'm going to re remove just a little bit of the green saturation just because the background was really bright. And maybe a little bit of this uh, aqua saturation as well. And then I'm going to add a little bit of the red and a little bit of the orange. Just a little bit here. Maybe a little magenta. A little purple. You know, just kind of playing with the, the colors that are in the photo and trying to get the best uh, composition of those colors that I can out of this HSL slider tab. Um, you know, you could also come into your luminescence tab, but um, I'm not, I don't usually use this too much, but you can come into it and just play around with it a little bit. I'm going to actually leave it as is because I think it works fine. And then finally, what I'm going to do for this first edit is go down to my effects tab and add a bit of a vignette to this photo just to kind of draw it in a little bit. Um, flowers look pretty cool uh, inside of a vignette type of uh, thing here. So I'm just going to do something like this. And you know, I'd probably uh, be pretty much done with it now. Um, here's again my before image. And really all I did was kind of draw your attention into the flower and kind of spiced it up a little bit with a little bit of um, vibrance and a little darker um, exposure on the flower itself just to kind of give it a little bit more of a punch. So that's the first edit. 
Um, now, continuing on with this edit here, what I would do for kind of a more artistic edit would be to go into the black and white and then really punch up your reds and your oranges. And what that does is it really just transforms this flower into a very white and uh, very kind of cool looking um, flower. Now, it might not be to your taste, but it is something that you can do. Um, of course, then I feel like the, the background here does become a little bit more distracting. It's not too bad, but it's just a little bit more distracting. So I might add a little bit more contrast and maybe drop the exposure just a touch more and um, maybe darken up the shadows and remove some of the, the black or remove some of the blacks a little bit just to really kind of emphasize this flower in our foreground because um, that white flower is really going to grab attention anyway. So you know that's a, a really a little bit more of an artistic look at what you can do with the flower. Uh, we have this very colorful um, pink and red uh, flower here and we kind of really emphasize that in the black and white edit. So um, that's something that uh, you know I like to do and I like to experiment with. So I hope you enjoyed this Let's Edit. Um, I'm going to try and do maybe another one or two more um, photos with uh, flowers in the coming weeks uh, because I know it's going to be a very hot uh, topic, and a, a very um, commonly photographed subject as the spring flower season does uh, begin to get into full effect. So if you have any questions on uh, editing flowers, let me know in the comments below and I will try and work those uh, questions into the next few videos as well. Um, of these two edits, which ones did you like the best? Did you like the color one or did you like this uh, more artistic black and white uh, edit? And if this is your first time watching, as always I like to ask you to subscribe to my channel. Um, it does help me out. Um, and it keeps you uh, involved in what I'm doing here. So thank you for watching. Uh, please like the video if you did like it, and I will see you again next week with another Let's Edit video. Bye for now.